All gone, is it? Afraid so. It's for the best. I loved that coat. Oh, Jimmy, get over it. We don't touch another penny until the coast is clear. Alternatively, we could hand the money back. Oh, come on, Vinice. Do you really want to kiss your newfound wealth goodbye? Well, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Ah, until you changed your mind and went internet shopping. Yeah, well, I kidded myself. That betting slip didn't belong to anyone. And now we know it does. Well, I mean, it's fraud, isn't it? I really don't want to get locked up. Nor do I. I've got children that need me. We all have. Oh. OK. OK, if this long-lost relative shows up, we'll hand over the cash. Good. Though, how do we do that without incriminating ourselves? Excuse me. Can I help you? Yes, I, uh, I'm looking for Lydia Hart. Oh, you found her. Oh, uh, um... Charles... Charles Unwin. You're a solicitor? Is this about the shopping trolley? I only ever meant to borrow it. No, no, I don't know anything about the shopping trolley. Oh, thank heavens for that. Uh, but I do know something about your Auntie Amelia. Who? Well, strictly speaking, not Auntie. Second cousin once removed on your mother's side. Mimi to her friends, apparently. That rings a bell. Auntie Mimi! Oh, she used to send me 50p postal orders at Christmas <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah, those were the days, eh? <laughs> uh, I I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. She's died. Oh, poor Auntie Mimi. Yeah. Yeah, but on the bright side, as her only living relative, you inherit her estate. Uh, you might have bumped into her. She only lived in the next village. Amelia Dumfries. Mrs Dumfries? We were in Benice's salon together the other day. She was my auntie. No, second cousin once removed. Blimey. 